Hi, my name's Joy slash Fairy Liquid from the magical land of Jing Jang Jujo, hoping to entertain you as you entertain kids. Do your balloons keep popping? Right, well, this might be the reason why. So number one, shoddy balloons. Personally, I tend to stick to Sembatex or Qualitex, and there are other brands out there which are very good. The ones that I've bought like from party shops, you know, like um, you know, like in uh, Tesco, so it's a supermarket in the UK, the range, what do you guys have, Walmart or something? You can pick up some cheap uh, modeling balloons, but be warned, Number one, they're usually pretty shoddy. They're usually much smaller, not always 100 in a pack. Ah, so you might think you're getting a good deal and you realize you've only got 30, so they've actually cost you the same amount as you would have spent on a professional brand. You can check out my other video, which is in the description, for my cheap versus quality analysis. Right, the next one is, well, these clear balloons <laughs> and the metallic ones and pearlized balloons as well. They lack structural integrity. So the reason that they will be popping is just simply because they are just a different molecular structure and they just tend to pop, be more likely to pop anyway. I'm quite pleased actually, this guy, little guy, even though I blew him up like right to the end, he still didn't pop. And then that does actually teach you that. Sometimes a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill, a little bit of practice <laughs> does bring rewards. And of course that leads us on to the third one, of course, too much air. If you do put too much air in, it's kind of obvious. The more twists you have in a balloon, the more likely it is gonna pop. And maybe in your face and hopefully not. The next reason, of course, is it's too hot. If you're ballooning outside on a hot day, get in the shade. And occasionally I've actually arrived to a party and because my car has been hot, or maybe I've accidentally left my balloons or my spare balloons in the car, and they've heated up sort of during another booking and when I've got to the party, they are, I can tell they're just gonna pop and they do start popping because they're too warm. One quick hack you can do is just, if you're at home, somebody's home, you say to the client very nicely, could I put my balloons in your fridge please? <laughs> and if you just put the, your bag of balloons in their fridge, just for five minutes even, it would just bring the temperature down a bit and hopefully make that, uh, they're more stable to work with and you'll be able to carry on ballooning for the rest of the time as normal. I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you, it's a bit embarrassing. I do actually also ask it to be in the shade uh, when I do my entertaining. The same goes if you are right next to a radiator in a room. And of course you don't want to be overheated too, so do ask to be in a nice shaded spot. And when you're in your car, do try to keep them out of direct sunlight too, or where they can feel nice, cool air conditioning. Another obvious reason your balloons might pop is if your nails are a bit sharp. So I always keep an emery board, a nail file, somewhere in my balloon bag. And finally, your balloons just might be really old. You know, I've got this 360 here, and I'm pretty sure this is over 10 years old. Should we blow it up? <laughs> when balloons are really old, they just get a little bit I don't know. I guess they start to break down because they are made from latex. Look the size of this. Oh, I'm so scared. It's going to pop in my face. I haven't got much room here between the camera and this banner. <laughs> right, I'm going to tie the end. I'm going to shut the eyes. I'm so scared. Don't try this at home. Right, I have managed to um, actually successfully tie it. Let's see if we can make, what can we make with this? I'll see if I can make a balloon dog with this enormous balloon. <laughs> I can't believe it, this penny, this honestly, this balloon, I'm sure it must be more like 12 years old. I haven't bought a 360 in absolutely years. Oh look! I tell you why, actually, this was actually probably not a good one for me to use in terms of uh, my point being old ones pop. It's actually because this one's black, and black are the best, most strongest balloons in my experience. Shiny. So, quick run through shoddy balloons are going to pop easily. Metallic, shiny, or clear balloons are much more likely to pop more easily. Too much air. If it's too hot in the room or wherever you are, do your nails need filing? Watch that. And are your balloons like me just a little bit too old? <laughs> they might be starting to degrade, so keep 
your balloons on a rotation, try to use them all up before you open a new packet and that kind of thing. Don't forget to check out all the descriptions in the link below. And if that was helpful to you, join me in another video. See you soon.